search for two-year-old Taylin Mosley ended in tragedy yesterday when the toddler was found dead in the jaws of an alligator. We've learned new details tonight about the case involving Thomas Mosley, Taylin's father who is accused of killing Taylin and his mother, Passion Jeffrey. Eight on your side's Trevor Sahaki is live in the newsroom tonight with the latest. Trevor. Jack Allison, Thomas, Thomas Mosley is now in jail after he was charged with both mother and son's deaths. He made his first appearance in court this morning where he pled not guilty. And today we learned Passion had more than 100 stab wounds when she was found. According to the arrest affidavit of Thomas Mosley, he and his family were celebrating his 21st birthday at Passion Jeffrey's apartment on Wednesday. Later that night, after the party ended, Mosley went to his mother's house with severe cuts on his arms that police say are caused by slippage during a knife attack. It is my condolences going out to the family and to his loved ones. We are sorry that it had to end this way. The next day, when the victim's family came to check on Passion, they saw a trail of blood out of the apartment. Passion was inside with more than 100 stab wounds. A bloody fingerprint on a cleaning bottle was linked to Mosley. She's very uh, outspoken, always make you laugh. Smile, smile, smile all the Always time. Always joking. According to police, Mosley threw or placed Talon into Lake Megory, causing him to die. Police did not specify how Talon died. We just want to say um, that Talon is a beautiful little boy. And he's really loving and caring. St. Pete Police Chief Anthony Holloway said detectives saw an alligator with an object in his mouth yesterday at Dell Holmes Park. That's across town from the apartment where Jeffrey was stabbed to death. They fired one round uh, to the alligator. The alligator dropped the object that he had in his mouth, and we were able to retrieve Talon's body intact. Mosley is charged with two counts of first-degree murder for both Talon and Passion's deaths. He's being held without bond at the jail and was also ordered not to have any contact with the family of Talon or his mother. Police also said there was an indication of mental health issues with Thomas Mosley. He still has bandages on his arms and hands while in jail. Live in the newsroom, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side. Trevor, thank you. The victim's family sent out a letter this evening thanking people around the state and the nation for their support. They say in part, quote, as we grieved passion and searched for Talon, we especially send our gratitude to St. Petersburg police and all law enforcement working day and night in the search for Talon and the concerned citizens who shared helpful information. We are heartbroken that we must begin putting them both to rest. In that same statement, they also say they are accepting donations to use for funeral services and to support the family at this time. We have that link for you at WFLA.com. Good morning. Today is Sunday, April the 2nd. The year is 2023. Ginger heard the countdown. Or Grayson heard the countdown. He said, wait a minute. I'm back. I heard that beeping noise. I heard it. I heard it. I know what time it is. It's my time to shine. He heard him ran it in. Ran on over here too, didn't he? He said they over there eating some breakfast this morning. All right, try to get on down and go and come back to do whatever dog is supposed to be doing. Crazy. No. But anyway, gosh. You know, every time I see these reports about this violence going on within the, the, the type of domestic violence that goes on between and the black community, and I bring up the subject of mental illness, everybody shoots it down. And that's why these problems still persist. Get off my, my feet, move, get out of here. This is why this problem still persists in our community and will continue to persist because we don't want to acknowledge what is truly going on with these mentally ill folks in our communities? Get away from here. We don't acknowledge the mental illness aspect of this. You got to be pretty damn insane to stab somebody damn near a hundred times, take your two-year-old child, throw them into a river, allowing an alligator to get hold of them. If y'all don't think that nigga crazy and insane and something was really wrong with that nigga, something wrong with y'all. And we see this over and over and over in our communities because these niggas won't go get no motherfucking help and nor are they encouraged to go get help because we just ignore our niggas vibe. These niggas crazy, y'all. I really wish y'all sit down someplace. You know what I need to do? I'm going to put them outside because it's starting to get ridiculous. I'm on this damn deck. 
but let me do that one. Give me two seconds, Johnny, right there. Yeah, listen to the soft music. La, 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 la. Some nice elevator music where I throw their asses on that deck out there. I gave me a favorite treat. Some bacon. Any of this. Oh, it's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they love it. Get their ass out there on that damn deck. Well, if y'all don't think this man was insane and crazy, if y'all don't think that man was crazy and insane to do something that was that was heartbreaking too. And then they had what could have happened on your twenty first birthday that this how your birthday celebration ends? Well, what? That nigga been crazy for twenty one years, and I'm sure his family members knew he was crazy. The neighbors knew. The school teachers knew. Hell, the doctor that brought, brought him into the earth around as well knew this nigga was crazy. How much I want to bet that nigga, nigga, that, that nigga never had no help, never was in therapy, never on any types of medication, never on anything. And see, because we, we don't want to acknowledge this issue. We don't want to acknowledge this. I see it in the comments. Mental illness didn't have nothing to do with this. Hey, these niggas are fucking crazy. Y'all that stupid? Oh, I forgot. I'm dealing with mentally ill people, too, who write in the comments. If y'all don't think this nigga was crazy, I don't know who. And we see this this, this happen over and over and over. It's, there is a issue here that's running through the black community. A lot of these people are just born into these mental health issues, and they're not being dealt with. And you get into a relationship with these fools. They trying to do something positive with life. She, she is graduating from school, trying to do something positive with her life, mother of his child, and this nigga crazy as hell. I got a couple of them in my family. Crazy. Niggas be crazy as hell. Can't say nothing to them either. You better not say nothing to them. And these families do not encourage their children to get help. They don't encourage their children to go get the help that they need. I don't even know what to even say no more. I'll tell you what I do do. I stay the fuck away from crazy ass niggas. Me, I stay the fuck away. I ain't got time for it. When I realized that your ass is crazy, I said, okay, this nigga crazy, this nigga crazy, and I block. I can't deal with these crazy, the crazy niggas. I can't deal with it. I'm just too old. I don't want to deal with them crazy niggas. What's the point? You can get them stabbed a hundred times. Your child thrown into the river where alligator can get a hold of it. I'm willing to bet you all a million bucks. His family members, his friends, his mother, his father, his, they knew that nigga was insane and they did nothing. Nothing. And y'all wanna know where all this violence comes from. A bunch of crazy ass niggas untreated. We have, there's, there are severe mental health issues within the black community, particularly with our men. And we ain't discussing it. We ain't talking about it. We ain't want to. I ain't never heard anybody discuss it truthfully. I could be wrong. Have y'all had any of these um, well known black, what's the words I'm looking for? I can't even think of, I don't, don't want to say celebrities, but the people who, these attorneys always standing up for black, you know, has anybody discussed this? Do we want to tackle the issue? Do we at least want to acknowledge it so we can begin the road to trying to fix it, maybe? 
The only thing I can suggest to people is to stay away from these crazy niggas. You're a black woman and you, you're dating a black young man and you immediately notice the red flags, this nigga crazy, you better get as far away from him as your feet can get and do not have his child. As soon as you know, spill out, okay, this nigga got some issues going on. Yeah, I deal with a lot of guys all day. And in fitness, I deal with guys, mainly men, all day. About, I'd say 99%, 0.9% men. I deal with some women, not a lot. I, I have another young lady that when women come to me, I send, I send them to her to help grow her business. Um, She's just better suited to handle that, women and females than I am. But I've noticed a lot of these guys, you can the conversations just go left so fast. You find yourself tongue wrestling with a crazy motherfucking crazy food. I get tired of tongue wrestling and arguing with people who are so hard headed. You can't tell these niggas shit. They know more than me. And it is exhausting. Then they get so offended. They feel like you say one thing, I, you know, just a simple little question, and they feel like that you, you're treating me like a child. I'm asking you a question. Do, do you know how to do this? This is this is, doesn't mean getting your feelings. This, this is a yes or no answer. But they're getting their feelings. And they're upset. And so when I see these this type of behavior, I realize, okay, I need to back away from this person as a client because I can't deal with this. I've literally had to get rid of clients that I could not deal with their mental health issues. And I just had to block them. You need to be calling from other numbers. I just can't deal with it. I say, okay, this isn't going to work. So it's best for me to terminate this now. <sighs> now. Can you imagine getting into a relationship with somebody who's got some serious mental health issues? And then we're going to pile on drugs and drinking. Untreated mental health issues. Untreated, untreated alcoholism, untreated drug use. Hmm. I wouldn't even know what to say. I mean, seriously. Yeah, I have oh, for all the years that Oprah Winfrey and ran around here. Well, her, well, I've never heard her say anything about mental health treatment for black men or, or women. Mainly, black men have this issue. I've never heard any of them discuss this. I've never, I've always thought Oprah was kind of anti-black man because some of the stuff that she does. She's never tried to tackle the issues or discuss any of the issues that I know of with black men. Yeah, she could pay for some college degrees for some of them to get these worthless degrees they can't do shit with. <laughs> okay. Um, mine is a terrible thing to waste. But a college degree that's worthless is, is, is terrible. But I don't know. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I'm maybe maybe I'm relying too much on the, the celebrity side of Black America to come forward and say, "Hey, well, even, even they mentally ill." So I guess that ain't gonna happen either. Huh? You got all these all these mental health is, issues, mental health issues running around. Niggas crazy today. 21 years of age. What was his name? I just pulled it up. St. Pete mother. This happened in St. Petersburg, and I mean, it's Florida. Near Tampa. St. Pete mother stabbed over 100 times before a toddler was thrown in the lake. Um, Thomas Mosley, 21, was charged with the murder of Pashan Jeffrey, 20, and her two year old son. Tyler Mosley after Tyson's Tyson's body was found in the mouth of the alligator Friday. Hmm. I don't know. I see a comment. Why blame mental health issues when someone can be say black? Because the nigga is insane. And we have to deal with the, that issue so we can eliminate the stuff that happened. You have to point it out as to what it is and begin acknowledging it. You cannot ignore this. But, you know, black folks are fucking ignorant. Don't make no nasty. I keep my damn distance from you niggas. 
I just can't deal with black folks. You're getting, it's getting harder and harder for me to deal with black people. Just keeping it real, it's just hard for me to deal with them. There's so much crazy shit. You know, you see them, you know, you might actually bump into somebody or I try to stay out of areas where there's a large, uh, you know, I don't go to clubs and restaurants full with black people. I've seen stuff, and, and, and I, I'm just keeping it real, I don't care what y'all say, I'm protecting me. I'm doing what's best for me, you do what's best for you. If you wanna be up in a club at 3 a.m. packed with a bunch of niggas and on off Street, West Street Street, go right ahead, I'm not. <laughs> I don't wanna do that. And too dangerous. And all you gotta do is turn on the news and see all this care. There's a lot of stuff that happens in Atlanta that does not make the news. Let's just, let's just keep it real. A lot of stuff just doesn't make the news at all. It just don't make the news. Let me see something. Hmm, she was killed inside her apartment. And then you're gonna kill your your son. By throwing him into a river. Everybody says, you know, I don't know what to make of this. Well, you just have to wonder what exactly could have caused this type of, what happened between he and her that he decided to make this decision that he would kill her and his son and spend the rest of his life in prison. Don't Florida still got the electric chair? I don't get it, but hey. And if y'all don't, well, if y'all don't realize there's something mentally wrong with these guys out here. Not just this crazy nigga, but a whole bunch of them. And that's why I keep my distance, honey. I don't have a choice. Well. I just wanted to talk about that today. It's, it's April 2nd. It's going to be a short little video because I'm going to get some more coffee and watch the news. They ain't picked up Donald Trump yet. Mm, got his ass yet. We're going to pick his ass up. I just want to see if they had picked his ass up yet. But anyway, today is Sunday. It is April 2nd. The year is 2023. I'll conclude this video. I'm tired. It's a very depressing video because my coffee didn't get cold. Uh, well, today is Sunday, April 2nd, the year 2023. If you have any questions or comments, I look forward to reading your comments. It's a short video, and I'm out of here. You all enjoy the rest of your beautiful Sunday.